Okay, so here's my lowrider table at Franklin High School. And the table can remain here and the gantry can go with me to different schools. Building the same table at Immaculata High School. Today I came in and I reinforced the legs and I installed wheels. The legs are bolted on so that, you can see down in here, I've got two bolts, five sixteenths bolts on each leg and they can come off. So if I had to transport the table, it could be done. And the wheels just get pushed down into position, lift the table up, but when they're lifted, the table is solid on the ground. So I'm also working on my three axis probing and I wanted to make it simple so that anybody can do it cheap and easy. So you go get a corner bracket from Home Depot. It's a three inch corner bracket. You could pick them up for about four, four bucks, five bucks. All right, they do have these little dimples that you have to take into consideration when you use your gauge to see the thickness of it. So when you use your caliper, make sure you're, you're getting a reading from where the dimple is because it'll give the thickest reading there. This one was one and 9.97 millimeters. So I just routed this puppy up to two mil um, and I tapped in a two and a half mil bolt with an eyelet to an alligator clip, make it easy. If this was the corner of my material, I put the piece on the corner and then I'll jog over to somewhere in this corner area. And I will do that and then show you the next steps. Okay, so now I've jogged the gantry uh, core over to the workpiece and I'm about, I'm gonna say a half an inch in in all three axes. It doesn't have to be exact, but you wanna be within like a centimeter to a half inch from each side and even in your Z. And that's because the code that I have written doesn't allow for it to be say like in the middle of the table. It's not gonna make big moves like that. So now I'm gonna take my alligator clip and I'm gonna clip it right on to Ryan's tiny touch plate. Then I'm gonna take the ground or the other side of the contact point and I'm gonna stick that on the collet just like you would do if you were probing for anything else. Then I'm gonna run, I'll come over here to my pendant and I'm going to flick out of this screen. I'm going to go down to my SD card and I have a file, the 325 means it's three axis and I'm probing a quarter inch bit or a six mil bit. And I also have one in there called 318. And as you guessed, that's for doing a three mil bit or an eighth inch bit. So I'm gonna come here, do the quarter. I'm gonna load it and I'm gonna click on run and we'll go watch as it taps down, lifts up, taps down slow. And it'll go side over. Now, this isn't held in place, so I've got to hold it with my fingers. But it's going to come in on the side. It'll touch the side. Go in again. Touch one more time. Now, I could have this running. It's sensitive enough where it will stop. And I guess it's going to run in. Touch. And touch again. And then it will zero itself out. And if you look... That is pretty much dead on. I don't know how much you're gonna tell from the piece, but it is pretty much dead on and it'll let me cut right off the end of the 96 without any issues. So that's what I came up with. Simple, simple, easy, non-destructive. Um, the code was just modified code I found online and it just modified it to um, have the dimensions I needed. And this will work with your low riders. So that's that.